welcome back to this channel be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today is man charged for a barber's murder at portmore plaza and a fatal shooting by a jlp caretaker but before me get down in the topics in details more want to go over instagram and follow chop city tv that is c-h-o-p c-i-t-y underscore tv yes right this and all people at the place and put the videos them and the pictures them and we cannot put on the youtube i you know so sometimes i chop a little one and two funny video in between so we can have a little laughter and go and chat down in the comment section and also for the persons then we wonder how them get in contact with me about them business inquiries instagram at the place any big ups anything at all want to see one more i talk about just anything at all want to have to get in direct contact with me at instagram at the place so I'm just go on over there go follow up the movement but we get right down in the video in details so all right viewers and subscribers this are the thing what we have to talk about right now i don't know if you remember about uh about four sundays are back or probably six or some about this so one sunday a barber was shot and killed in portmore power plaza where him work and him did drop off of the building and drop down upon the ground but i don't know if you remember that situation there and some people might not remember what happened or what them hear say happened or some people might never hear none at all but for the person them whenever hear yes that happened in portmore and a plaza couple weeks back or probably i would say a month and couple weeks back and unfortunately him never leave him these succumbs to him injuries yes succumbs because him never really passed on same time him did literally dip on the ground and him did a move look a bit and persons were around him and so call the police don't call the police and you don't know say you gotta have some people who go panic especially the people them with the upstairs in at the bar or we have upstairs and they did them and go panic and yes when we say upstairs we literally mean him fell from three stories down so you know say no one little baby drop that him get us some serious serious injuries some serious serious pain some serious serious yai water him go through before him really pass on i don't remember exactly what happened but my doubt say people did get injured like, i mean like other persons who were there they get injured but no say them did get to upon foot yeah that's how much i remember and for the persons them who remember clearly exactly exactly what happened only can leave it down in the comment section and also you know for the persons them when i have a clue what me i talk about the video is still on my instagram page on chop city tv page so you can go over there go view it of course you gonna see the title as i tell you it's a couple weeks down so you have a stroll go down until you find it yeah so right now the update upon that story is the man who do it get charged are the man who allegedly do it get charged so here is the story in details 25 year old Gideon garden of the bridgeport st catherine address has been charged with the august 9 killing of 27 year old ricardo robinson otherwise called reza a barber from Bearton, portmore in st catherine garden was positively identified on an identification parade as the shooter he is charged with murder and illegal possession of firearm reports from the bridgeport police are that about 11 15 a.m robinson was sitting on the stool at a business establishment on port ederson plaza in portmore when garden armed with a gun approached an open fire it seemed to his upper body the barber fell from the third floor of the plaza and was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dead garden was subsequently charged on monday september 21st then if me ever step forward and tell uno say me me no love all the police them i work with i tell uno one big fat lie so this man here him dash away the barber in a august and him get one lamp and september it's not far not not far not even one little month good him go over a little bit over one month but not too much over the month so you don't know say you have to give the police them them credit where it deserve 
you get what me I say? And as to the family of the barber, I'm glad to only get justice. You understand me I say? I'm no uno feel a little bit better in our self, although I still don't know where it come from. And of course, we don't love for having a loved one within the same way without a fear go through none of them look or something. But sometimes in life, things do happen, and we have to accept things and know, say, I say, go. But for the man now, we get charged, but just hope you know, bro. But just a hope, say, I really you do it because you know, say, sometimes pandem identification period type of something, yeah. And every time people really get the right fear judgment, you know, because sometimes. And really you do it, you know, because you favor Smarty. Because in this world, my mama tell you something. Smarty, they, they will favor you. If they don't look exactly like you, they look nearly like you. And in a position like that where you are going to open up fire on somebody and everybody, what I say, everybody where they are going to panic. I don't ask Christ not twice about it. Every single body where they are, I know for sure say, them panic at least a good 10 minutes five minutes or eight minutes somewhere around there so until them sister the attack are really gone everybody really calm down you understand me so, so sometimes them i might glimpse money and them say all right me know who you know me know who and then when them go up on the id parade them say somebody will look like the somebody i don't know really the somebody you get to me i say and sometime too upon them id parade as i say the innocent one them get away you understand because i just look do that i just look for somebody come and pine pan you and i really you for sure that i if them the hundred 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 percent sure i me really believe say on the way you can hundred percent sure and if you really stand up and make face to face contact because remember you know, everybody did it i do them own different thing and you know? i remember say it's a barber shop and it's a bar so for me say everybody did it, i do them own thing and then fire just home everybody i can run up and down run up and down so you don't know say you know most really see the person face for real but however them pint this money out and them say a him but just hope say a you in a bro and like oh them say a you if i really you you forgot face your judgment for everything you do in life there is a judgment there is a consequences for everything you do so when your consequences come and you forgot face it you better road move up your better jail too because <laughs> Because, man, I have to tell you, you know, you know what gonna happen. No found you know what gonna happen, you know. And you know what the worst part about it? Sometimes, you know, them boy I will go go do the work, you know. And I really them want to do the work, you know. I send them get sent out and they have to go, you know. Or sometimes, you know, say them get them look up here and them go mash up the works and come back. But however it go, I'm glad to the barber family them really and truly get justice and it never drawn out for one year or one two year or one three year for the mother ball out and i say boy look what them do my son and all no me can't hear nothing at all no me can't get justice so me really glad the way how it turn out and my officer again big up the police them them do them work but for right now we are gonna move on to the jlp caretaker where shoot a man fatally them say me i can give you the story in details and then now we can talk about it or only talk about it down in the comment section here's the story in details a police probe has been launched into a shooting incident of a man by a Jamaica Labour Party caretaker slash counsellor in St. Andrew on Monday night. Reports are that about 9 o'clock, the caretaker was at a traffic light along the Old Oak Road in the vicinity of Retreat Avenue when the man reportedly attempted to grab a pouch that was in his hands. The politician then reportedly pulled his license firearm and fired at the man who ran and later collapsed. The unidentified man was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police sources said that the deceased is a well-known cross-dresser who has been linked to several robberies and attacks in the area. A senior police officer with knowledge of the incident said in pushing a through the wrong window. Several reports with the deceased have come in. He was held before. He is a part of a group that is known to the police. Some would probably say he is a leader of a pack. His street name is Gabriel. We expect to see and hear fewer reports of certain criminal activities in the area, the lawman said. 
Gabriel, you push your head to the wrong window. Why you do it, John Crow? More often, why you do it? On a love guy road and grab off of people things and don't know always people. But I said for play out, well done.